welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori in Wellington. <laughs> and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's a small one. Hi, buddy. Um, just a few things for some crafty projects I want to get done this weekend. So I thought I would go through the haul real quick and then I can use them. <laughs> you saying hi, buddy? He's saying hi. It's bedtime for them. They're thinking I need to go to bed. My babies. All right, let's see what we have. It's a very small haul, but again, I said, what's these things I want to use? So I picked up some ping pong balls. I'm going to be doing a gnome for fall. And I needed this for the nose. So, ping pong balls. Um, I found a felt garland with, well, duh, black cats. Because who has black cats? Let's look at this. I haven't even opened it yet. I think it says Happy Halloween. Maybe it just says how. Oh. Well, there's two of them. Ah. Okay, here we go. One says Happy Oh, and I like it there. Um, this is a nice quality for a dollar. See the ghost in the black cat? This is um, really stiff felt, but I love it. I like that they can be moved. So you can do big or little, you could spread it out. You could totally take this off and put it on larger garland or different garland if you wanted it to be one word. And then, Halloween. Oh, with the raven. Look at that. And another black cat and a spider. And again, the letters can be spaced or pushed together. This is adorable. I should have probably picked up a second one, but I didn't. So hopefully I'll be able to find some other ones because I think Sarah will need one, right? Um, oops, wrong bag. I've got two bags going because I went to two different Dollar Trees over two different days. Um, I picked up this metal ruler. And it's going to be good for... It's in a plastic case, but it'll come out because it's peeling already. Um, it's going to be good for crafting. It's nice and thin, which is what I liked about it, opposed to... Um, the wooden ones, which are a little thick. And some of the plastic ones are bowed, but this one is not. So this would be great for my bullet journaling and for crafting. And it's metal, so I feel like if I get marker or something on it, it'll come off. Um, this was made by Jot, and I feel like this is a good deal for a dollar. I'm just peeling the sticker off the back. You know, I have a thing with stickers, right? Um, I think this is a good deal for a dollar. And it does have inches and centimeters, but... That's not 100% why I got it. I've got plenty of rulers. But this is going to be for bullet journaling and crafting. Because you always need a good straight edge. I picked up some chalk. And this is Crayola brand. Which I thought, that's pretty awesome. For 12 um, sticks of white chalk. I have a DIY coming up for you at the beginning of the week. And that is what I'm using with that. And then I picked up another package of these um, loops. These are going to be in a DIY. I'm going to be doing, it's a nail it or fail it Pinterest inspired DIY for you. I'm so excited and I need these. Um, myself and two of my coworkers are going to be making the same project. And so I picked these up. This is an eight pack, which means it'll hang four projects because what I'm going to do if you can see in here where you put the screws I'm going to use E6000 to glue to the back of this project but you'll see it because I will have a definitely a DIY out on that for 100% I'm so excited I'm going to actually start that video this weekend um, it's a painting project and they take a little longer just because I don't want to rush through it I want all of the layers of paint to dry so it'll take a couple days which is fine now, I picked this up, this frame. It's not really a frame, it's a shadow box here. I can get it, take the wrapper off. It's, um, there's no glass, it's just a shadow box. 
But if you look in the background, let me peel that. To me, this screams Beetlejuice, Halloween. So I may end up taking off this because I'll show you in a second what I think I'm going to put in here somehow. It'll all work out. I will make it work. But I wanted this to just lean somewhere for fat, for Halloween. This is all part of my Halloween's giving. Start with the fall, we merge in the Halloween, and then we bring in the Thanksgiving and take out the Halloween. So this is definitely for Halloween DIY. I mean, I'm not gonna even call it a DIY. Let's be honest, it's super easy. But I want to take one of these somehow. I really like this one that says um, Hocus Pocus on it and put it on like a cardstock and then hang it in here. Cause look at the colors with the purple and all these neons. I think these will look really cute in here. So all I would have to do is take this cling, stick it to some cardstock, cut it out, and then I can hang it from this and make it like a Halloween-y thing. Any of them would work. I even like this one that says Witch's Brew or one of these potions, but I really think I'm going to use this Hocus Pocus and do it. And this was a dollar, and these are window clings. Um, I don't know that they're necessarily sticky, and if I really haven't bought these before, um, it's not sticky, so I will have to probably Mod Podge it down and then cut it out is what I'll do. But, so I picked up that, and then something, this might even go on the mirror over my mantle. I think that'll look cute on the mirror for Halloween decorating. I have other Halloween stuff that I'll pull out, but that was just something I had seen at the store and was thinking that would be a good idea. I'm putting the trash away in a trash bag. Then on the same vein of Halloween, I did find these two, and that one just says Happy Halloween. And these are the same um, kind of faux wood that, um, the fall and the Thanksgiving signs, but I grabbed this one that just says happy Halloween. I really like it. That might go in my bedroom on my TV stand. And then this one I love too. And look at the, um, I guess plaid or Harlequin. I'm not sure that's necessarily Harlequin. Um, but I like that trick or treat. Just something cute. Again, I don't decorate a lot for Halloween. I don't have children. The cats are built in Halloween because they're black cats. They don't know, but they are Halloween cats, both of them. Um, okay, I got this random bruise. No idea where that came from. But I grabbed these. I know people are buying them to DIY, but quite frankly, if I need something of this nature, I'm going to the hardware store and they'll just cut it for me. And it's less expensive more cost effective more cost efficient something of that nature but anyway halloween and that'll go i have a tub in the garage with fall halloween and thanksgiving stuff so i need to bring that out i picked up oh for my co-worker she had a little rough day today it's been busy we're all kind of on edge, so I got that for her. I'll take it to work tomorrow. And on the same thing as work, I grabbed one of these. It is a three hole punch. I don't know if I've ever used one before, but I'm training at work doing some different functions and I have a binder, but I don't have a hole punch. And I was just gonna bring in like my handheld one, but I saw this and I think it will just do like a page or two at a time, which is fine. So the back comes off to let your paper out and then you sit it in there and you snap it in and it punches your paper. So like I said, we're not going to do more than one piece at a time, but let's see if I can punch a hole in something. I have this piece of mail in front of me. So I don't know if this is too thick. I mean, this is the equivalent of like two pieces of paper, let's say. And you kind of just have to squeeze it through and hope for the best. Aha. It's definitely not um, well, 
two of the holes went through. The third one did not because there was some glue adhesive stuck to it. Let's try that again. We're gonna try it on the other side. This is gonna work, because I need it to. Now, at work, I'll just do one piece at a time. But you kinda just push it in and it snaps into place. Okay, you wanna kind of turn it out a little bit, but this last one still won't go through. Oh, there we go. So I snapped it all in. It's not pretty, but it works. And I have three holes that are evenly spaced that will go into my binder at work. So again, not pretty, but it'll work, and that's thick. And then when you wanna take out your punches. Did you see that? You just move the back off. You could obviously leave the back off, um, but I won't. So this is going to my office um, so that I can put my training materials away in the binder and that'll be keep everything neat and tidy. Okay, maybe I needed to not take it apart. Girl, I, I'm a mess today. It's a good thing this is a little haul and I only have like one or two more things there you can just push it in is this cheaply made absolutely but will it do what I needed to do yes and that's perfect so I grabbed this for work and the last things I purchased and I would say to you you want to get them now while you can are some Thanksgiving cards and these were in the two for a dollar section these are Hallmark they're regularly two dollars and thirty nine cents it's the Heartline these are the two two for a dollar, the heart line. And this one says, so thankful. When I count my blessings at Thanksgiving, I always think of you. It's just a pretty card. I love sending out holiday cards. Christmas, Thanksgiving. <gasps> this one is so pretty. I don't know if it's getting sent out or if it's going to get framed. And it just says, happy Thanksgiving. With the little animals and there's a little sparkle to it. And on the inside it says, hoping your Thanksgiving brings autumn bright and happy things. Um, that sentiment's okay, but I like the front the best. So this might become a craft. Like a little frame just to put out for the... <laughs> Alex has the balls. Somebody had mentioned I keep an ear on eye out. I can hear him behind me so that I look at the camera to see what he's doing. Because he's crazy. And this one says, Happy Thanksgiving. Sometimes life gets so busy that it takes a day like Thanksgiving to tell special people how much they mean. Um, today and always, you're wished all the joy that comes from knowing you're cared about and appreciated. And this one is for my aunt that lives in Texas. And you see the sparkle on those? They're gold foiled, gold foiled little leaves. And I won't read you this one because it's a long one, but this one also is in like a copper. And then on the inside, it just says, wishing you all the best of the holidays. I don't send out a ton of Thanksgiving cards, but some of the uh, members of my family that I, you know, I don't say old, but the older members of my family that I don't see all the time, I appreciate sending them a card around Thanksgiving and Christmas time. And two for a dollar, I think is a good deal. Um, and I'm going to check out some of the other stores for some of the Halloween cards. I don't mail Halloween cards, but I like the card stock. And they also have dollar cards, too. Um, but these are the ones I picked out for. What you got, baby? Come see me. Do you want to come see the friends? Come see our friends. He's playing with this. Oh. It says 50 percent more catnip and it's a sticker i'm trying to peel a sticker off for him he doesn't care it's really funny he get finds a toy and he just is obsessed with the toy hey, baby come see the people come say hi he really wants his mouse back this is what he's playing with he just wants his mouse this week. Next week, it'll be a ball. The week after that, it'll be something else. All right. Well, that was a lot of talking for a tiny little Dollar Tree haul. Kind of excited. The Dollar Tree I went to tonight, um, they have all the boxes of fall. They're getting ready to put it out. I'm not buying everything. I'm just buying the things that I want to craft with or that I need. And like I said, I have some DIYs coming out next week. And I'm super excited. But I will talk to you later. Bye.
Happy Halloween! Oh, now he comes. Oh, who's a baby? <gasps> who's baby? <laughs> he said no. I want to love you. You say hi. You say hi to our friends. Say hi to the friends. No, I'm not gonna say hi to the friends. He needs his nails clipped. Oh, that's our, that's our neighbor. He needs his nails clipped and he won't let me do it much, but I have to catch him while he's asleep. I know, babies. All right, Alex, it's time to go. Say bye. You say bye? Okay, say bye. Bye, have a good one.